who doesn't see that connection, web log is a blog. Ah, there you have it. <laughs> who here likes to talk? Okay. okay. A lot of talkers. Who here likes to learn and grow? Okay, even more people. Imagine the synergistic power of taking blogging after this meeting is over, going home, and being able to use your voice to help others around the world learn and grow. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. I'm going to cover blogging in three simple steps. Ready, set, blog. Mm -hmm. Step one. Getting ready to blog requires that you get over the mental hurdle that blogging is a waste of time. <laughs> we need to think about inbound marketing. Traditional marketing, or old school marketing, was all outbound. It was all blast the message out to everyone and hope that the small percentage that wants to hear it is going to hear it. Well, we've gotten a lot more sophisticated now. So if I'm trying to send my message out via a TV commercial, I'm going to try to send it to Brian, but he's like, oh no, you better talk to the hand. I got TiVo. <laughs> I'm going to try to send my message out to Ali'i here via spam, but no, Ali'i's like, I got spam filter. I ain't getting to me. <laughs> Zandro, I'm going to blast my message out to you via telemarketers. They're going to be calling you every day. And you're like, shoot, fool. I got caller ID. <laughs> ain't happening. So that's outbound marketing. It's old school. It's antiquated. Don't even think about it because we don't want to receive messages that way. It's all about inbound marketing. It's all about inbound marketing. And blogs also have the power to the potential for SEO. We're going to cover that in the next step. Who knows what SEO is? Amy. Search engine optimization. And what is search engine optimization? Driving people to your site. Yes, driving people to your site, getting your site to rank higher in search engine results on Google, MSN, Yahoo, all of those. Step two is set. We need to get set up with our blog. This is a process that is probably going to require a web designer. We've got two. I'm going to talk about WordPress because WordPress is the number one blogging platform online. There's two ways you can go with WordPress. You've got WordPress.com over here. WordPress.com is where the, the blog is being hosted by WordPress. So all of the traffic that you generate from these really interesting blog entries are getting sent to WordPress. So that's, there's no SEO benefit there. Then you've got WordPress.org. WordPress.org is where your web designer uses the HTML uh, architecture and basically creates your blog or creates an entire website with WordPress.org and then hosts it on any number of hosting services for about $100 a month. And all of that traffic that is generated when people do a Google search and find your blog, that traffic's going to your website, not to WordPress's. So it's a big distinction. Go with WordPress.org when you set up your blog. The third step of blogging <laughs> is blogging. <laughs> <laughs> Who here, how many times, uh, how often do you guys blog? the people who have blogs? Not often enough. Once a week. Once a week? Okay. Once every two weeks. Every two weeks? Once every two weeks? Okay. The, the consensus, what I've heard more often than not, is one to three times a week. It's a lot, right? I'm still trying to get to that point <laughs> where I can blog one to three times a week. I'm at the once a month stage still myself. But I feel good that I've gotten past step one and step two. I'm in step three trying to mount that hurdle. How can you find enough content to talk about for one to three times a week? The good news is you don't have to write a lot. In fact, it's recommended that you write as little as possible. Think of a blog entry being half of a page, very short paragraphs, maybe a few sentences, and then you start another paragraph. Bullet points are good, top five lists, top ten lists. Always try to incorporate keywords that people search for within your industry in the title and also in the uh, the body of the article. You can embed videos from YouTube, so it gives people some eye candy. They'll want to watch the video and then read the blog after they're done. 
And if you forget what you're going to talk about, you've got notes that you can refer to <laughs> while you're typing up your blog. Because I'm still trying to figure out how to blog one to three times a week, I've been asking lots of people and watching webinars, where am I going to get my topics from? Well, I'm going to share the secret with you guys. You're getting so much good information from <laughs> You can take conversations that you have with people informally and post it to your blog. You can look through your email outbox and see things that you've already been sending out throughout the past week, and that can be content for your blog. You can comment on articles, news stories, movies, reviews, anything that's happening in the world. You can comment on it and maybe take a little excerpt from that blog or that article, copy it and paste it in your blog, or just have a link to the original article because you're just commenting on it. And by commenting on it, it's making you an expert in your field because you have your finger on the pulse of what's happening. If anyone's familiar with LinkedIn, that's another one also. You can go to the LinkedIn Answers tab, and that's where people post questions about how can I get such and such done. And then what you can do is instead of answering their question there within LinkedIn, you can write about it in your blog and then post the link to your blog entry and send people to your blog that way. In conclusion, there's three steps for blogging. The first step is getting ready. The mental hurdle of getting over that, that inbound marketing is where it's at. Step two is getting set up, having a web designer. Set up your blog with WordPress.org. Step three is blogging one to three times a week. That's it.